when you're ready to make a recording you need to check that you've got the right line of text selected and we're going to go for this one here and that you've got a clear image in the ultrasound window so we'll just ask our speaker to say ah uh, t -t -t -t. T -t -t -t. can you say k k k Okay, and when we're ready, press the record button um, and then the screen will go green and then our speaker will say the words. Okay, are you ready? Yep. Bone skeleton curtain. And then as you can see, the record button's changed to stop, so we can just press that. It saves the file. And then automatically moves on to the next line of text. We'll just try that again. Are you ready? Not necklace, not and that's all saved automatically. This is a typical window we might use for ultrasound therapy. We have the live image on the left here and we can put static images on the right. I'm going to show you how to do that later. The first thing we're going to do is add a palate trace in so that we can see when our participant's tongue touches the roof of her mouth. Um, so what we have to do for that is get our participant to swallow and then freeze the screen and um, draw a palette on. So to freeze the screen we just click that's the screen frozen. To unfreeze, you just click again. Okay, so if I can get you to just do a demonstration swallow, please. Okay, that's brilliant. If you just do that again, I'll freeze the screen in the middle of it. Okay, just try again. That's not too bad. And if we right click here, we can select overlays, which is a method of drawing different markers in the screen, and collect edit to add one. And we're going to stick with the green one for this. You can change the colour to any colour you wish. Now the number of knots, that's the number of points on the line that we want to use. Um, the more curvy your line is, the more knots you'll need. Six is a reasonable number for a palette trace. And then we can actually just bend the line along those points to fit in with our palette. Okay. And shorten it. We can also move it if we select move. You can move the whole thing up or down so we can save it for later. Um, and you can also rotate it as well. So that's saved, we can use that anytime we want. We unclick that if we want to fit the line again. Okay. And select close when we're ready. So if you just say t t t for me. T t t. And can you say k? K. Okay, that's not bad, thank you very much. Sometimes in therapy it's useful to save a target image and quite often it's useful to have the client create their own once they're able to achieve a new articulation. So this time we're going to save the client's best attempt at a shh. So if we just ask the way to do that for me, we can freeze that and we can select copy here and the image will appear here. In order to save that for using later we just have to right click, select save. I'm going to save this as a client's reference. This means it's only available when we're using this actual participant, not available for other speakers. And um, we'll just save this. Shh. Select OK. So that's there now. So we can ask our speaker to try and emulate this shape. So if you want to say for me, shh. See, that's the same. If you say sha. Sha. Thank you. 